In the previous episode, I did my eighth closet clean out and I ended up talking way too much. So here's part two of the video. The time has come. I'm gonna list all the items here for sale. Like everything. I've listed some stuff here and there before, but then I would slack off and never get around to doing it again. I figured I need someone to keep me accountable. So I'm gonna do this with you guys watching me. I always choose a clean white background to showcase the clothes. Lighting is also really important. The weather today is okay. It's not shit, but I'll add some external lighting as well. I take my photos in square mode because most secondhand platforms require this dimension. Typically, I would take a front photo, a back photo, and then some close-ups. You also want to show the brand and the size information. If you could, show the material tag as well. After years of struggling, I'm finally selling my bling bling coat. This is a J. Crew blazer. I've never even worn it. This is a beautiful blazer from Massimo Duty. There's a tiny, tiny mark at the front. Make sure you mark any imperfections. I used to love this jacket, but I think I'm ready to part with it now. There's also the matching skirt. I have another set in a similar style. I just put on the same outfit, pretending it's the same day, but it's already the next day. God damn it. Now it looks like the sun is setting. Hello darkness, my old friend. Anyways, what I have here is a beautiful preppy cardigan from Ralph Lauren that I've practically never worn. This is another beautiful piece from Ralph Lauren. It's made of wool and cashmere. I just find that V-neck doesn't really look good on me. I realize if I keep talking, I will never finish my listings. So I'm just gonna shut up and work now. Alexa, play Spotify. Okay, here's Spotify. Again, I couldn't finish taking photos of all the clothes. The sun is setting very quickly. Golden hour is perfect for taking photos for humans, but not for clothes, because it's gonna make them look all yellowy. So let's continue this tomorrow. Good morning. Isn't it ridiculous that it is now day six of wardrobe decluttering? We can do this. Oh my God. I finally finished taking photos of all the clothes. Oh, but we're not done yet. Now it's time for shoes. I know this looks pretty strange, but these shoes are too long, so I have to get creative here. I think it's pretty smart. Behind every photo of shoes, there is someone kneeling on the floor trying to get a good shot. Oh my god, the sun is setting soon. Oh, my back. I think I'm done for the day. Day 7. I hope this is the last day because I really can't do this anymore. Behind me are all the bags I need to list. I've had this vintage Chanel bag since the beginning of time. I think I'm finally ready to sell it. My mom bought this pink Miu Miu bag thinking it would be my style. Thanks mom, but um, it isn't. So I guess I'll have to sell it. I used to love this coach bag, but then I fell out of love. So it's time to say goodbye. I bought a lot of vegan leather bags, but I didn't end up liking them as much as real leather bags. Live and learn. Oh wow. Can't believe I'm actually done. Now, after all the hustling, I can finally start listing all my items. Feels like I'm opening up a clothing store right from my closet. I'm gonna show you how I list my items online, but before I do that, I wanna quickly show you my Excel spreadsheet. I know, I take this shit very seriously. So on my spreadsheet, I keep track of all the items I've listed so far. 
I've got the item name, the brand, the size, the original price versus the listing price, the material, and the description. Oh, the grayed out ones have been sold, by the way. Now, let me show you how I list my items on Poshmark. Let's open Poshmark. Sell. No, I'm not selling my carpet. I've got my photos here. Album. Listings. Let's sell that beautiful coat right here. Front, back, close up, brand information, and tags. All right, details. Okay, here it is. Aritzia Wolford Waldorf coat in brand new condition. The material is a blend of 72% virgin wool from a premier Italian mill and 28% polyamide, engineered to deliver warmth up to minus 10 degrees. Size extra small. Cool. Next. And there you go. Here's my listing. Then I basically do the same thing on Depop. Now let's open Depop. We're gonna use a different example here. Let's do this sweater. All right, description. All right, here we go. Brand new Polo Ralph Lauren cable knit sweater in pristine condition, crafted from 90% wool and 10% cashmere. Timeless and versatile, it's perfect for all seasons. Size extra small. All right, next, post listing is listed. I will usually do the same on Vinted, but I just found out that they are closing in Canada. I only list valuable items on Bestia Collective because it's more for luxury and I just don't want to bother with anything else. All right, here's Bestia Collective. Um, I tried to list my Chanel handbag years ago, but I never actually finished the listing. Talk about procrastination. Anyways, let's finish this, shall we? All right, here we go. We got the details and then the photos. All the photos are here. And we've got the description and also the measurements. Submit. Listing complete. Yay! All right, now I'm sure you've got the hang of listing secondhand items online. It's actually pretty simple, just a lot of repetitive work, which I'm not particularly fond of. I'm just gonna silently suffer through the rest of this. Oh my god, you wouldn't believe this. Okay, I know I said I would suffer through this part silently, but just two hours later, look at this. I sold my pink candy goose jacket that I listed last year. Here it is. Let me get my supplies. There we go. Okay, I've got some wrapping papers here. Perfect. Now the shipping label. Now let's close the box. And voila, it's ready to ship.